Bible legend claims the Ark of the Covenant is a wooden crate covered with gold that contains the, the two stone tablets of the Ten Commandments handed down from God to Moses. Treasure hunters and historians are fascinated with finding the Ark, which is believed to have vanished around 587 BC when the Babylonians destroyed Jerusalem. Some legends about the end of days are linked to the recovery of the Ark, claiming the construction of the prophesied Third Temple which would trigger the end times and the arrival of the Messiah, needs the crate to be returned to Jerusalem. Theories range from it remaining hidden in its resting place beneath the Temple Mount, to it being held by a tribe in Africa, or even being captured by the U.S. Daily Star Online can reveal the hidden locations believed to be the final resting place of the Ark of the Covenant. Starting in the crate's traditional homeland of Israel, Ark hunters believe there are two likely locations for the biblical artifact. The most obvious is that the Ark of the Covenant still remains hidden in a secret tunnel deep beneath the Temple Mount, upon which now stands the Islamic holy site the Dome of the Rock. More than 76 miles away is another possible Ark location, with theories claiming the scared chest was actually sunk into Lake Tiberias, better known as the Sea of Galilee. It is claimed the Ark will rise from the depths of the lake as the world enters the end times before the final day of judgment. Neighboring country Jordan also contains a possible Ark location, with excerpts from the ancient Christian text 2 Maccabees suggesting it was hidden on Mount Nebo. The book's canonicity within Christian doctrine is debated between denominations, with it being accepted by Catholics and Eastern or Orthodox, but rejected by all Protestants. Jews also deny the text in the biblical canon. It claims God prophesied the destruction of Jerusalem to the, the prophet Jeremiah, who then hid the Ark of the Covenant in a cave on Mount Nebo. And according to this prophecy the Ark will be found just before Judgment Day, when God should gather his people again and receive them unto mercy. Britain even has its own Ark locations, with one theory claiming the Knights Templar discovered the Ark at Jebel al Madba which may have been the biblical location Mount Sinai. English Baron Ralph de Sudley, a wealthy benefactor of the religious sect, had the chest shipped home to Britain and hidden on his country estate at Temple Herdwike, near Leamington Spa. Interestingly, this location is known owned, controlled, and locked down by the Ministry of Defence. Across the English Channel, there is also a possible resting place for the Ark in France at the Cathedral of Our Lady of Chitra also allegedly shipped there by the Knights Templar. Ethiopian Christians actually outright claim to be the current holders of the Ark of the Covenant, which they claim is kept under guard at the Church of Our Lady Mary of Zion. It is claimed the Ark left in Jerusalem was a forgery, and the real Ark was shipped to Ethiopia in around 1000 BC by Manalik, the son of biblical ruler Solomon. No one can view the Ark except for the guardian monk who is confined to the chapel looking after the golden crate until his death. Also in Africa, the Lemba tribe claim their ancestors shipped the Ark of the Covenant south and kept the chest hidden in a cave in the Dumb Mountains. Rome is also a proposed resting place of the Ark as some suspect it was captured during the Crusades and taken to the Basilica of St. John Lateran. It is one of the oldest and most high-ranking the buildings within the Catholic Church and is the Cathedral Church of the Diocese of Rome. Crossing over the Mediterranean once again, some Ark hunters claim the chest has already been found in Egypt when Howard Carter uncovered the tomb of King Tut. Photos from inside the tomb revealed a suspiciously Ark-like object with a statue of Anubis placed on top. But this obect widely accepted to be a ceremonial artifact of ancient Egyptian, not biblical, origin. Tales of the Ark of the Covenant would not be complete with a mention of Area 51 as popularized by the Indiana Jones movies Raiders of the Lost Ark and Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. In both these films by Steven Spielberg, the Ark can be seen in the hands of the U.S. government after being discovered by Dr. Jones hidden in Egypt. Ark hunters have theorized on this as a genuine possibility however, suggesting in real life the biblical relic was taken to the French village of rennes le chateau by the Knights Templar. It is claimed the Ark was then handed the U.S. to protect it from the outbreak of World War I in 1914, where it would, would have found its way into the, the alleged secretive vaults of the mysterious military Nevada installation. To this day, there is no leading historical theory on what happened to the Ark and some question whether such an object ever existed at all.